Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about what you need to say to a chick before you go out on a date with her. All right. Now, this is nothing new. I've talked about this before, but I feel like I need to um, reiterate this and also got reminded to talk about this because I saw a comment on one of my videos earlier um, where I was talking about how you want to hear a woman basically say yes. You feel me? You don't want to hear her giving you all these other excuses because I was saying all the other excuses is basically a no. And in that video, um, I use an example of when you're setting up a date with a chick and I basically was talking about confirming the date. And now when I said to confirm the date, you know, the example I used was to tell a girl, hey, are we still on for tonight? All right. So when you guys are confirming dates, when you are, you know, you set up a date and you're supposed to see the chick on that day or whatever, you hit her up and you say, are we still on for tonight? Right. And so I saw a comment that said, you know, um, and shout out to the subscriber that sent this. I think his name is uh, Red Pill Brotherhood. I think the name of his uh, screen name is. But he was saying, you know, doesn't that kind of sound needy to say, you know, hey, are we still on? Right. And he was saying something to the effect of and I heard this before and I've even used this before, but I don't think it's that effective where he said, uh, wouldn't it be more you know, efficient to say something like, Hey, I'll see you at seven. Or he was also saying, uh, would you, couldn't you change the venue so that it sort of forces her to respond to you? Now, let me talk about the first one. So if you're, if you set a date with a girl on Saturday at seven o'clock, right. And Saturday morning comes, if you say to this girl, let's say you text her, Hey, see you at seven, right? the girl might not text you back. So now you have no idea if this girl is gonna meet you at seven, right? So you might say, well, if she doesn't respond back, then I'm just not gonna go and meet her at seven. But then what if she actually does show up at seven? (laughs) You understand? And then you you stand her up because you thought she wasn't coming because she didn't respond to that. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you're switching up the venue let's say you text her and say hey instead of meeting me at the main street bar meet me at the center street bar or something now you're looking indecisive right which in a lot of cases makes a girl who let's say she was like let's say she had medium interest in you she was on the fence that that might make her actually flake that might make her say oh well you know something came up i'm sorry i can't make it whatever but that's really because of you seeming indecisive right Now, all you need to do before you go on a date with a chick is hit her up and say, are we still on for tonight or are we still on for this afternoon? Whatever the fuck it is. That's all you got to say. See, the reason why guys don't want to say this is because guys, some guys think that um, by confirming a date, they think that it makes you look weak. And I've heard this this argument before. Right. Right. See, confirming a date doesn't make you look weak. What what confirming a date does is that it gets rid of the women who are going to flake and waste your time. You understand? Because the women who are going to flake and waste your time, we're going to flake and waste your time. Even if you didn't confirm the date. So let's say you were supposed to meet a chick at Saturday at seven, but she was like, you know, I don't want to confirm the date because I don't want to look weak. And then you show up at seven. She's not going to show up because she was already, she was already not showing up anyway. Right? So if you would have confirmed the date and said, Hey, are we still on for seven? She would have either responded to you and, and gave you some excuse as to why she can't make it, or she wouldn't have responded to you. Either way, you would have known she wasn't coming. So then you wouldn't have to waste your time to go out there and meet this chick. 
See, if a girl is interested in you, right? All confirming the date does is basically let her know that you are still interested in making it happen. And because she's interested in you, she's actually glad you're confirming the date because all that's doing is letting her know that you're interested in still meeting up with her. So if the girl is interested in you and you hit her up and say, hey, are we still on for seven? She'd be like, oh yeah, sounds good. I'll see you at seven, right? And the reason why you're, you know, um, sending her that message and saying hey are we still on the reason why you're you know asking that question is because you want her to respond and say yes we are still on you understand you want her to respond to you and say this that's you getting confirmation you see what i mean because see if you just say to a girl hey listen i'll see you at seven and she doesn't response she doesn't say anything you didn't get a confirmation you see what i'm saying and even if you were let's say to try to switch the venue up or something like that and be like hey meet me here instead of here if you don't get a response you still don't know if the girl's gonna meet you at whatever new place you said to meet for her to meet you at you always need for the woman to send you a text or to respond to you with a call to say Yes, I am coming to the date. You understand? Because if you do not get that confirmation, that means that shit is just up in the air. So if you say to a chick, hey, are we still on for tonight? And you don't get an answer, that's your answer. She's not coming. But if you say, hey, are we still on for tonight? And she says, yes, of course, looking forward to it. Whatever it is like that, that means she's most likely coming through and i say most likely because you know how chicks are they can still flake whatever you see what i'm saying so that's all you need to do when it comes to you you know about to go on a date with a chick do not set up a date and then just go straight to the date you always have to get that confirmation you understand you have to get her to respond and say she is coming all right so that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you go, make sure you click the link below to get your free copy of the audio program, Undeniable Game. This program is gonna teach you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. In this audio program, you'll learn exactly what you need to do to become that confident man women are attracted to. You'll also learn what you must do to become better at approaching and talking to women. You'll learn why women don't return your calls and what to do to increase the chances of women returning your calls. You also learn the only time you should call or text a woman. You'll learn how to start conversations with women. You'll learn the mindset you must have to be successful with women. You'll also learn the main thing you need to do to figure out if a woman is really interested in you and much more. So make sure you click the link below to get your copy today.